seems to have been quite a static lockdown in the land. Many areas of society and community are now beginning to open up once more. For these, well, for some, are unsteady first steps, while for others, they're hailed almost as a marching song. Travel is still controlled in so many ways, and freedoms once enjoyed by so many are still quite a distance away, I fear. Yet, we all must travel, making those first stumbling steps, that first stumbling journey. To new ways of living together, yes, interacting with each other and making our way in the wide world once more. Our theme for this morning is lament. Not that moaning nor appealing lament, nor the groaning, howling, complaining lament. It is a lament of prayer. A gathering of all that has happened, and still is in so many ways, that we may offer to the Lord that we are able to step out and move forward. The psalmist, for all the negatives in our reading today, keeps looking ahead. We hear these words, I will sing to you, O Lord, because you have been good to me. In Lamentations, it echoes this, when we read, The Lord is all I have. And so I put my hope in him. Moving from here, moving on from here, wherever here is, can be painful. The thought even devastating. And our readings today portray this rather subtly. Yet amidst all this, amid life itself, Jesus calls us and calls often softly to each one of us those words, Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. As we indeed gather lament on what has happened in recent months, and on what is still happening to so many around the world today, we may take heart in the hope offered through our Saviour Jesus, who offers to be with us, to stand beside us and carry us through, gathering our fears and placing our hopes before him, who is our Lord, can offer the strength to step out into a new and really quite different world with each other, with Jesus at the heart of all we do. Amen.